Hello my dear students welcome back to our online classes from LPM Public School situated in Gola Bazar Gorakhpur so today i'm here with a new chapter that is chapter number 12 going into space so students today i'm going to explain you this chapter students what do you see when you look up at the sky on a clear night the moon signs at night so students in this chapter we are going to discuss about space as you know that the name of the chapter is going into space it means we are going to discuss about the space so first of all do you know the meaning of space or do you know about space what is space the area beyond the earth's atmosphere where the stars and planets are called space okay so students let's begin this chapter get set how would you go from the students here you have to write how would you go from first question is your house to your neighbor's house so students if you have to go to your neighbor's house from your house so how would you go from simply answer will be by foot so here you can write by foot next is if you have to go to your school from your house how would you go here if your school is far away you go by bus and if school is near to your house you can go there by foot next one is your city to a nearby city students if you have to go to a nearby city from your city so at that time how would you go so here you can ride by bus by train there are so many transports next one is your country to a far off country so my dear students to go from a country to far off country you have to use the transport aeroplane it means you have to use air transport next is the earth to the moon so students if you have to go to the moon from the earth what how would you go yes you go there with a or sorry from a spacecraft so students let us read, read about space spacecraft and astronauts so students here this is a picture of some rockets astronauts spacecraft now students let's come to the first topic from this chapter here first topic is what is space so students the earth is surrounded by air and beyond this layer of air is space if you throw a stone up in the air it will fall back to the ground this pull or force of attraction is called the force of gravity that is why it is not easy to get out of the earth's pull and escape into space 
we need a special vehicles which have the power and speed to take us away from the earth's gravitational force so my dear students first of all the earth is surrounded by air and beyond this air layer of air is space now students what happens when we throw a ball up into the air it first rises up then seems to stop and then falls to the ground why does it fall down why does not it keep going upwards do you know let me tell you this is because of the force of gravity so students the force that pulls objects downwards towards the center of the earth is called gravity when you throw a ball up you throw it with a lot of force more than the force of gravity so it rises but as the ball moves up it loses this force and then gravity pulls it down similarly leaves and ripe fruits always fall on the ground due to the force of gravity unless unless they are plucked so my dear students in your next class you will study in detail about of this force of gravity in detail students let me tell you the name of the scientist who discovered this the student sir isaac newton was an english mathematician physicist and astronomer who played a major role in the scientific revolution in the 17th century he promoted the idea that the earth pulls every object towards itself and gave the world the theory of gravitation okay students you know in your next class you will study about this topic now let's come to the main topic so students because this force of gravity it is not easy to get out the earth's pull and escape into space so we need a special vehicle which have a power and speed to take us away from the earth's gravitational force a space rocket puts a spacecraft into space so students it is not easy to get out of the earth's pull so we need a special vehicle so a space rocket puts a spacecraft into space now students let's come to the next topic that is man on the moon man went to the moon for the first time in a spacecraft called apollo 11 this was in 1969 the first man who stepped on the surface of the moon was neil armstrong the first word he said on landing on the moon were that's one small step for moon but a giant leap for mankind edwin aldrin and michael collins were the other two who traveled in a spacecraft with neil armstrong so my dear students in this topic you will be able to know that the first step on the moon the students human beings had always dreamed of going to the moon and this dream came true in 1969 so neil armstrong was the first man to step on the moon but here the other two 
who traveled in the spacecraft with Neil Armstrong are Edwin Aldrin and Michael Collins so students these three astronauts flew to the moon in the rocket and these astronauts bought some soil from the moon and some photographs of many new things about the moon so students in this picture you can see clearly this is the spacecraft apollo 11 and this is a picture of neil armstrong the students when they went to the moon they brought some soil from the moon and some photographs of many new things about the moon now students let's come to the next topic that is life on the moon the students we read about the moon in stories and poems let us read more about the moon so students there is no air or water on the moon no plants so there are no plants or animals or people there are huge pathos called craters on the moon surface so students there is no air to breathe on the moon and there is no water to drink there is no life on the moon so no one can live on the moon so students in our next video we will discuss about the remaining part of this chapter so students now your turn to study it and grasp it till then stay safe stay healthy and stay at your home thank you students bye and take care